Kat and Jen Codis, and welcome to the Morning Muffin, your morning carbo load of real estate. Good morning. It's Lisa. <laughs> Hello, this is v with the little bull box you hear. <laughs> And together we are the Wickman Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Integrity Lakes in Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And today is our Weekend Wednesday episode, and we are talking about apple orchards today, right? Because that's what we like to do on the weekends here in Minnesota. And it's that time of the year. It is that time, that time of, the of the year. Who wants to go first? I will. Yeah, do it. So when my my daughter's like 25 now, but when and she has a September late September birthday, and we would go to Amant's Apple Orchard every year when she was little. I still have pictures of her holding hands, <laughs> running through the orchards, and it just holds really great memories for me. So I selected that. It's a great place out in Stillwater. If you haven't been there, it's a fabulous way to spend an afternoon. And what I have never been there. For their wine tasting because it's got but a, a I want to go Croix vineyards right next to it right? they have St. Croix vineyards right next to it and so if anybody has been there please comment let us know and here's an open invitation if anybody wants to go <laughs> drink wine with me, me let me know <laughs> you guys can go <laughs> I'll enjoy the apple pie um, V tell us where you chose yeah so um I have never been to, to any uh, apple orchards. I have been to uh, America for eight years, never been once. I always want to check one out, and I always have boba with me uh, all the time, as many of you know. Um, so I always find like dog-friendly places, and I finally found a um, dog-friendly uh, apple orchard that have amazing view. Uh, it's about an hour and 30 minutes from the Twin City. What town is it in? Is it Fairhaven? Yeah. Okay. Fairhaven, because I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Um, it's open from 10 to 6 p.m. Uh, Monday to Sunday. And uh, so it's just a little bit background. I've never been there. I've always, been to, I've always wanted to. So any of you want to come and want to invite me and Boba, please uh, give us a comment below. <laughs> <laughs> it's also an open invitation. Dog party. <laughs> yeah, doggy dog, date. Doggy date. Yeah, I always love doggy date. Um, the towns, um, I mean, the farm started in 1985 um, by just um, a single lady. And she had really ambitious dream of turning 50 anchors into a fruit operation. And it start with you know berries and stuff. But then when he met her husband later on, they turn it in. They add apple into it. So that being said, you can also pick berries like blueberry, um, strawberries, um, and apple at the same time. It's, I don't know. If they grow. So I don't think they grow at the same time. <laughs> no, they don't grow. At the same time. <laughs> they grow at the same time. <laughs> But yeah, it's dog friendly. Um, bring your pets. Uh, they decorate their farm really cute uh, for the photo sessions. So really want to check oh, it out. That sounds fun. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this is a quick one, I guess. I go to tons of orchards, as you guys might know, because I have a young son who's he's three. He'll be four this month, and. He, because he has like a Halloween fall birthday, he's like obsessed with all things fall. And so we go to several orchards. We try to hit up, I'd say one a weekend, which ends up being like way too much apples for one person. So I was just going to ask you, how many apples do you have? I think I have about 50 pounds of apples. I, I <laughs> slice them and I peel them and I put them in containers. Like, you know, you could buy those big yogurts, um, like the big multiple servings i just put i save them and i put apples in there and put them in the freezer and then i just take them out and make a pie out of that little thing right there because i'm cheap and easy i like to do things ahead <laughs> but I, I really do have i have probably 10 of those containers in i have a deep freeze in my deep freeze right now just from this year alone but he likes to go early because he likes to watch the pumpkins grow and then pick out a pumpkin for his birthday and we end up doing a um I know this is totally off the topic, but we end up doing a pumpkin contest for his birthday. And I, I do believe that this year, um, I'm hoping that we'll have some good contestants. But yeah, 
So the, the place that you we will. chose, um, and I say we because I, I let Max help me pick it out, was Whistling Wells. It's one of our favorite places to go. It, um, husband and wife, I think the wife passed away from cancer and they had a dog named Emmy. Well, the wife was a school teacher and so in her honor, the husband wrote a book about Emmy the dog that lives on the orchard and it, it there's a little well there. It's just yeah. a really sweet story and when you go there, you can actually meet the real Emmy. It's actually Emmy too, because I think the real Emmy has passed on since then. And they have chickens and they have goats and they have... Um, you know, mums that you can pick, apples. I just had um, we had tons of honey crisps there the other day, and um, you know, a nice big shop. They usually have a band, but COVID, you know, things are things are different. Things are different. Where is the whistling well? Thank you for asking. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're it's, welcome. It's Hastings, <laughs> but I don't actually think it's Hastings. I think it's Afton. I think it's it's in that on that road in between Afton and Hastings, what is that, 95? Uh, it's gorgeous, it's a gorgeous drive, gorgeous. There's several apple orchards on the way there as well, so you'll see them in this kind of, there's actually, and V would like this, there is a huge sunflower <laughs> garden just past that, so you can go and stop along the way and take pictures and get maybe get a bouquet or something. Mm -hmm. They don't sell it. No. no Probably no. not. Anyway, so today I think we are giving away a bag of apples. <laughs> <laughs> Please help Ben. <laughs> Please help us. We will we will send you a bag of apples or maybe a gift card to a, a one of these places if you like. I, I'm guessing it'll be a, a bag of apples. So if you want, please comment below and we will pick a random person out of the comments to win. Um, so yeah. A bag of apples. A bag of apples. Why not? How about them apples? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God.